So yeah, fixing the broken golf basically. And just back here, you can see the fuel rail. And that is the fuel rail here. All right guys, I'm back. And today we're gonna to be doing a video on the golf. We're actually gonna be doing some repairs to it, some things for like pre preparation for the stage three. Um, this issue I've had going on for quite some time now is actually, well, basically it's a misfire issue. So I first started off thinking it's just like a lamp sensor or something. I scanned it, no codes, none of thing. Thought it was that. Throwing in, threw in a new lambda sensor, that did nothing. So that was an issue. Thought it was um, injector seals, did that stuff. Wasn't that either. We try, I tried a whole load of things, it wasn't that. Today we're actually going to be changing my injectors. Now I've had a few requests to make this video, so I thought I'll show you guys how to do it. It's quite simple. But uh, yeah, let's get straight into that. I'm going to repair that. And then on top of that, I've got this little like PCV piece that I broke. Don't feel I saw it on my story on my Instagram. But uh, yeah, we're going to be changing that over as well. So yeah, fixing the broken golf basically. <laughs> All right, so my injectors are over here. I'll quickly show you guys them. You know, you'll need sealed as well if you can change them. And uh, yeah. Okay, forgot to bring my light out, but okay, so here are two of the injectors. Obviously, changing all four, I've got the other two over there. But yeah, two injectors, you'll need two sets of seals, seals for each injector, obviously. I'll leave links for everything down below, so if you guys want all that. Okay, so here are the injectors you can see right there. I'll leave a uh, part number down below so you guys can see them, and uh, on top of that, you'll need seals. I've got two here because we're just we're not going to be changing two and change all four. The other two are just over there. So uh, yeah, but they're the injectors. We're going to be putting these seals on and then we're going to throw them in. All right, so it's this we're going to be fixing and injectors which are down here, but we've got to take all of this off. All right, so to start with, we've got to go to the back and pull off these few pipes. All the pipes going into the intake manifold. So you've got this one here, you've got this one here. You've got one down here. I'll take them off and I'll take the pipe off. So this one, and then you have one that you have to like squeeze and pull, there we go, that's off. And then for the back ones, you've also got, no that one's stay on because you're not going to take it off fully. Okay, once they're off, we've got to take off all these pipes. Mine are off from last time I did it, so they're off, this one's off, that, this. You also need to get your map sensors out, or your map sensor, that one out yeah, an 80 valve size to come out you know, I'll leave that for now okay and then it's so now that they're out now you gotta get this pipe off I'll disconnect any pipes that are on it there'll be a few and then these two clips is very very tricky this is now very awkward and annoying there that's off now you got a lot more access. Take off your throttle body plug. That's all, this one's come out. I thought it broke, that can then. These bloody vag ones like to break all the time. So put these two aside, you know which one's which, because it's quite easy, two are math, and then the other two, they're, they're each to where they need to go to, so they're not too, you don't need to worry about that. The next one's a bit funny, you're gonna have to work under these pipes, basically. So these pipes can stay where they are, which can be pulling out those bits. All right, so now we're going to be getting out these screws back here. You can see there's one down there, two, you have three down there. You should have four, it's a bit hidden, just there. And then five is just, if you can see down there. Then five come off and then this should come straight off. It's all M8. Yeah, you're going to need a M8 spline for these. I need to get myself one of those electric ratchets that everyone uses. Speed this all up. All right, so that's all five screws out. You can see, and then this look is literally already coming apart. Just gotta take this. So we've got all the cables out of the way. And then this can just sit back. Okay, so now that we're here, we've got to switch to an M10 spline to get the fuel rail out. Okay, so just back here, you can see the fuel rail, that's this thing. Now these bottom screws, you've got three down here. Them ones are M8, and then these are M10s, the spline bits again. These ones are longer, them ones, oh no, they're the longer ones. They're, 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 they're different screws, you can't get mixed up with them, they're different. So uh, yeah, that's the fuel rail we're getting out now. Okay, 
Yes, yeah, so they're off. And now, so I'll get these little, they're like the black lip things that are in. And after then, your fuel rail should come out just like this. Oh, there's one connector, I forgot about that. One connector just by the fuel rail uh, line. One connector just here. It's your fuel pressure sensor, that one. Okay, so there's also this little bit of fuel rail left. We've got all the bolts out, so you see, I don't know if you can tell, but this bit here, and that what the spanner's on. It's a 11 16th, I'll convert that on screen now to something else. I don't know, I just picked up the one that works in my garage, couldn't be asked to find the other one, the metric one, so yeah, but on there and just release the pressure. You will drip a bit of fuel. See, a bit of fuel coming out. Let it all just pour out, just catch it or something or clean it up. Keep that in mind. All it is just excess left in the fuel pump. Good turn. Oh, there's a little bolt there, that's why. That's what I forgot to do as well. It's like a T25, isn't that one? Just here. And that is the fuel rail here. Oh, some fuel might drip out, but be careful of that. There is gonna be some in there. All right, so it's the next day and the injectors are now done. Injectors are sorted out, got that sorted. Now we're on to changing the PCV system because my old one actually broke. I don't know if you remember in the old video. Um, yeah, in the video where I fit the R8 coil packs, I was fitting them and the little piece on the PCV broke. So I've got a new one of them. We're gonna be replacing that and that's gonna be temporary until we do the new stage three stuff. So let's go fix that. All right, so here's where it actually broke on this bit here. You can see I've done some dodgy plastic welding, but I think it started to mess up again. So when you take this out, get all of this pipe off, get that out and then replace this. Shouldn't be a hard job, should be quite simple. But yeah, let's do it. All right, so the part is in here. Just this, that's all it is. This is literally just gonna go there. But see here, see the little, the top of the nib this bit. And that interfered with here and then that's why it broke. So I might have to leave it unscrewed and just let it sit further back or something. Or maybe cut it down a little bit or something, something like that I'll have to do. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna record this. It's just quite it's easy stuff. Just replace four four pipes, one screw, put it out, put a new one in, good to go. So I'm not gonna record all the boring stuff. Like I'm just gonna time lapse it for you guys. So this is the old one. You can see. That's broken right there. I'll put a new one in after this now. All right, then, so as you can see, it's all fixed up now. We've got the pipes back in, everything sorted. This screw we're not gonna put in now because if we put it in, it gets too tight against here. So that's okay now. That's running back there. We're just gonna add cable ties to here and there just to make sure it sits, but it's sitting okay anyway. Just, just I'm just saying, doing it for precaution. But yeah, that won't move anywhere because it's held in with tension by the other cable to the pipes. So it's quite solid in there, you can see. It only moves a little bit. So uh, yeah, that's sorted. Injector sorted, job's all done. Now we can get into actually doing stuff to the car. All right, so that is it then for today. We've got the uh, injector sorted, got the PCV sorted, got all that done. Now we can actually get into modding the car because I don't want to mod the car while it's half broken. It's just going to cause big issues then later on. So um, we're doing everything properly basically as well. So whoever buys the car next off me, they've got a mean car to take. But uh, yeah, so maintenance is now done from what I know. I'm pretty sure it's done. I've got to make sure, but I'm, I'm pretty sure the maintenance is done. I have to see how it drives. And then once maintenance is sorted and the car's running properly, then we can go into putting the turbo on. So yeah, should be ready soon. Should be ready. The plan is to just get this thing done now because it's been waiting for so long. I just want to get it done now. So yeah. For more uh, Mark 6 content, for more E46 content, if you didn't see the last video. And uh, yeah, remember to like, comment down below, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.